and welcome to another VRTK tutorial video. In this video we're going to show how we can set up this really simple door that is just using an angular joint drive. Please consider becoming a VRTK patron. There are plenty of membership levels to sign up at and it really helps to fund these videos. So this scene is based off the scene where we added the physics track controllers and that is just so we can use the track controllers to push our door around in a moment. And I've just set up the toggle logic on these now, rather than to be activated by the grip, instead they're now activated by the trigger. So we can still just grab the door, but then if we want to push the door around, we can press the trigger button to turn our hands into a physical interactor that can then just push the door. So if we look at our scene, we've got our door container. The door container contains a simple door frame with a game object for the left frame, the right frame, and the top frame. And then our door is simply just a panel, a little handle spindle and then two handles one either side and what we're going to do is turn our door into a controllable so we go to window then to tilia interactions controllable creator and for this one we're going to use the angular joint drive because we want to be able to have it interact with physics when we push that door around so with our door selected i'm just going to click convert and we can see that's turned it into the angular joint drive prefab we can close the controllable creator window down and then go to our angular joint drive and then we can set up some of the settings required on the angular drive facade the first thing we need to do is change our drive axis our door will rotate around its y axis so up and down to change that to y the next thing we want to do is just change our grabbed drag so there's a bit more drag on the door when we're pulling it to give it a little bit more weight feeling to it so i'm going to put that to about 35 so now let's limit our drive so our door can only be in the shut position or we can open it, let's say, to about 120 degrees towards us. So the minimum would be zero, and the maximum would be around 120 degrees. And if we just change our gizmo line distance, so about 2.4, we can now see our gizmo is showing where our hinge is, right down the centre of the door. We actually want it to be off-centred, so we're going to move our hinge location all the way over to the left. So down that x-axis, we want to move it half the width of the door, now the door is about 0.9x scale, so we want to move it half that, so minus 0.45. And we can see it's moved over, but we also want to bring it forward a little bit, so it's hinged around the front of the door. So we're going to bring that hinge forward just about the half the width of the door as well. And its width is 0.05, so we're just going to bring it minus 0.025. And we can see now that door will rotate right around that corner there. So the door is pretty much now set up. We should be able to grab it and it should rotate. The problem we're going to have though is because this door is butted right up against the frame. The colliders of this door are going to interfere with the colliders of the frame. And because it's a joint, that joint is going to really struggle to push against the frame. So what we can do to that is we're going to introduce another package that allows us to get the frame colliders to ignore the door colliders. So we'll do that now by going to Window, down to Tilia, and then Package Importer. And we want to look for the one that's called the Mutators Collision Ignorer. So we'll add that to our project. And when that's added, we'll close the package importer down. And now all we need to do in our door container, we're going to add that Collision Ignorer. So right click on door container, down to Tilia, Prefabs, then to Mutators, and then add the Mutators Collision Ignorer. And all we need to do is give it the source of what we want to ignore from and the target of what we want to ignore with. So in the source, we can just put the door frame. And in the target, we can just put our angular joint drive door. And that will make it so our door colliders don't interfere with our frame colliders, but both colliders are still active in the scene. And there we go, we've set up the door, so let's jump into the scene and see that working. So now we're in the scene, you can see if I reach forward and grab our door, it will rotate around that axis as we've set. And if I was to activate our physical interactor, we can see it's activated there. And bring the door forward, it will stop against it, and then I can push the door with that until it's shut and there we go we've created a very simple door really easily using the controllables i hope you found this video useful if you have please consider subscribing to the youtube channel leave any likes dislikes comments down below please consider becoming a vrtk patron and i'll see you for the next video thanks for watching and bye for now